everyone, welcome to Hidden Home, where you have the opportunity to get to know the Ohio State baseball team, both as players and as people. I'm Megan Hussline, and today I'm here with senior pitcher Griffin Smith. Griffin, how excited are you to start the season next weekend? Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, especially after last year's season. Um, not ending the way we wanted it to, so looking forward to it. All right, so getting into it, what makes Griffin Smith Griffin Smith on the baseball diamond? Oh, man. Um, I'd say that like, I have a lot of confidence in um, my abilities. Um, I feel like I've been, I've been very blessed um, with the talent that God's given me, and, and I just go out there and compete with a confidence um, that, you know, I don't really care who's watching or what's going on or who I'm playing. You know, you're going to get the same, same out of me every game. Has that confidence always been instilled are you, in you, or have you kind of developed it as you've played? Uh, I feel like, you know, I've kind of developed it as I've played, but there's definitely been some ups and downs. Um, you know, as you, like, face adversity throughout the season, you know, you get knocked around a little bit, you have a good outing. Um, you know, you got to be strong mentally and, and be able to maintain that confidence, especially since, you know, baseball is a game of failure. Mm -hmm. so. And kind of maintaining on that, do you have any superstitions to maybe make sure that you don't have any of that failure or just do you kind of go with the flow every game? Uh, no, I don't really have any superstitions. I kind of just go with the flow, I guess. You know, like I guess I have like my pregame routine and whatnot, but um, mostly it's just trusting the process and trusting the fact that I put the work in and I'm ready to go. Is there anyone in the major leagues that you model your play after? Uh, I like Julio Urias. Uh, he's a left-handed pitcher for the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. um, He's a pretty young guy, but the thing I like most about him is that he just goes out there and competes, just like he's a bulldog on the mound. Um, just confidence through the roof, doesn't matter, like he's just going to go out there and attack you. So, Do you have any favorite major league teams, or do you just like rooting for all of them? Uh, I'm from Cincinnati, so I like the Reds okay. and Bengals who day, Super Bowl. <laughs> um, so not much success for the Reds, though. but Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, moving back to the team here, do you have a favorite post-practice meal or pre-game meal? Um, not really. Uh, normally, like, I'd say me and a few other guys in the team will like to go to Skyline down the street. I'm Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati place. Uh, if you're from Cincinnati, you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, not too often because, you know, it's not great for the body. But we'll, <laughs> we'll go there and grease it up every once in a while. <laughs> Good treat, I guess. Um, so I've talked to some other athletes. You know, they say that baseball isn't that hard of a sport, maybe because it's not a contact sport. I know it is mental. Do you think maybe that's part of the reason why? Why do you think that baseball is such a hard sport? Yeah, it's funny. I feel like if you ask somebody, like, what percent of the game is mental compared to physical, I'd say the majority of people that play the game would tell you it's like, whether it's 80-20 or 90-10, it's majority mental. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what makes it so tough. It's not, it's not too demanding on the body. Um, they're right about that, no doubt, compared to sports like football and basketball. But, I mean, baseball is a game of failure. Uh, if you're a hitter, you know, you, you bat 300, so you're failing 7 out of 10 times, you're a Hall of Famer. That's pretty crazy to me. So I think that's what makes it so hard is the guys that are able to stay consistent and be even keeled throughout the season are the guys that have a lot of success, and it's difficult to do. Yeah, and diving more into you as a player, um, I know you took your COVID year. Yeah. What went into that decision to take another year here at Ohio State? I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm living the dream right now. Um, there's really nowhere else I'd rather be. And to have the opportunity to be able to play another year with the guys on the team, with relationships that, we, that we've built over the years, um, you know, I have my, the rest of my life to get a job and, and not play baseball. This, is, this time is limited, so I'm trying to take advantage of the opportunity that I have. Yeah. Do you have any goals for yourself this season or as a team? Uh, yeah, as a team, I think, you know, we want to win the Big Ten outright. Um, we haven't been able to do that since I've been here. We won a Big Ten tournament, which was awesome, uh, but we've never won the Big Ten outright. So, um, yeah, honestly, we're, we're going to go out and try to win as many games as possible. And you were just named uh, captain for your second consecutive season. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you to be selected two years in a row? I mean, it's an absolute honor. Uh, just It means a lot to me because it shows that my teammates um, have a lot of trust and respect for me, and um, I believe that, you know, they think that I'm someone who embodies the program, which, I mean, it means the world to me. I'm, I grew up an Ohio State fan, and I grew up playing baseball here was my dream. So um, it's to me, it's the greatest honor that I can have. What have you been doing in the off season to get even better? Um, well, you know, like we have our, so, you know, lifting program throughout the summer and fall and whatnot. So getting bigger, um, like stronger, and, and maintaining 
um, like the speed and kind of stamina sort of thing. Um, but I'd say I've, I've had a lot of focus this off season on uh, throwing more breaking balls. Um, you know, I've, in the past I've been a pretty fastball heavy guy, so working on throwing the breaking ball more, especially for strikes. And then um, I've been working a lot on just the mental side of the game and and trying to build that confidence so that when adversity does hit, you know, and during the season that you know I'm ready for it. So yeah. And lastly, I saw um, you know personal wise on your bio that your favorite sports moment came for your first playoff game in high school. Can you just kind of take me through that experience? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say, so my first playoff game in high school, um, it was a time in my life when my dad was uh, battling cancer. Um, and unfortunately, the night before the first playoff game, um, he was admitted into the hospital. He was feeling really sick. We weren't sure what was going on. Um, once he got there, um, the doctors had realized that his liver and kidneys were failing. Um, they weren't really sure, you know, what was going on, you know, what to do if he was going to make it through the night. So obviously me and my brothers were all down there at the hospital. Um, we ended up getting to see him at like like midnight and one in the morning. Um, and I saw him when we were talking about the game that I was, you know, it was our first playoff game the next day. And I told him kind of jokingly in the moment that I would throw him a perfect game not knowing, you know, the weight that that carried. And the next day, I was able to go to school, um, and, you know, I was able to throw the next day, and I ended up throwing a perfect game, which was pretty pretty spectacular uh, and a really cool moment. So, Yeah, that's awesome. Um, that's a great experience. What's your favorite thing about being a pitcher? Do you like being in control? Does it scare you a little bit? Yeah, I love it. There's no better feeling in the world. Like, the ball's in your hand. Um, you have all the control in the world. It's like you're playing chess with a hitter, um, and I love that. It's like a mental battle, but also a physical battle. So, And the cool thing about pitching is that you don't have to be a freak athlete to be a good pitcher, and you don't have to throw 95 or 100 to be a good pitcher. You can throw 85, and if you spot up your ball uh, both sides of the plate, with you know, you can be really good. So I think that's the coolest part. Moving into some more fastball questions, just I'm going to ask you two things. First thing that comes to your mind, just answer. Okay. All right, so do you prefer seeds or gum? Seeds. What flavor? Uh, oof. Buffalo Ranch, if they have them, David. Um, I love them all, though. Gotcha. Water or Gatorade? Water. Mm, classic, yeah. Water. Um, do you prefer starting a game, or do you like coming in for a leaf? Starting, but, I mean, I've, I've done both since I've been here, so either, really. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, why do you like starting? Uh, I like it because I have a routine in between my starts. Um, when you're a reliever, you don't really know when you're going to pitch. Um, so being able to know when you're going to pitch and establish a routine from the day you pitch to the next day you pitch. Um, that involves your throwing program, strength and conditioning, stuff like that. Uh, it's really nice to be able to map that out. I'm a pretty organized person, so I like having that ability. What's your favorite place that you've ever played baseball? Oof, that's a tough question. Uh, I'd say Omaha, Nebraska, TD Ameritrade. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. great field. We've had some, you know, fantastic memories there. Mm -hmm. So. What's your favorite opponent to play, excluding Michigan? Excluding Michigan, I don't know. I like playing. Uh, I like playing Maryland. Actually, I like playing at Maryland. Mm -hmm. I just like their field a lot. Zach uh, said the same thing last week. Really, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, of course, because I mean, yeah, he's a hitter. They have they have a pretty small field, which mm -hmm. I just like their mound a lot. I just feel like I'm. I have. I don't know. I pitch my best games. I don't know what it is about the the atmosphere or surroundings, but mm -hmm. I like it there. All right, lastly, speaking of the mound, if you got one song to come out, you want to pitch another perfect game, what song's going to get you hyped up enough? Mm, uh, I think Bad Company by Five Finger Death Punch. All right, well, if you hear Bad Company, watch out for Griffin Smith. Griffin, thank you so much for joining me this week. Good luck next weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.